took a second job at the observatory scrubbing floors at night. I saved enough there to get myself a degree. But it was the war that gave me a real opportunity. Navy engineer, and then some real, actual scientific work in the weapons propulsion lab. I applied to 16 companies when I got home. Isodyne was the only one that was willing to put one of my kind in a lab. So you can see why I didn't immediately jump at torpedoing my relationship with them. During the war, Isodyne, along with every other legitimate company in their field, was working towards a successful atomic reaction. Isodyne didn't build Fat Man or Little Boy, but their research got far enough to continue atomic testing after the war ended. This one didn't go as planned. What happened? I wish I could tell you. Isodyne has worked its people around the clock trying to determine the exact science behind this anomaly, but, well, here, see for yourself. A black hole? No sign of the men or the vehicles since that moment. Only one thing was left behind. Isodyne is calling it zero matter. Mostly because there's no fit for it anywhere on the periodic table. So, what is it? I have a hypothesis. Do you know what a perfect fluid is? Are you talking about zero matter or your winemaking machine? Real fluids conduct heat and have viscosity. Perfect fluids have no shear stresses, no heat conduction. You see, zero matter is always drawing energy into itself. It'll always be the coldest object in the room because it is literally devouring any nearby energy. And that's what killed Jane Scott? She must have made physical contact with the specimen. Where do you think it comes from? Could be extraterrestrial could be extra dimensional. Not of this Earth? Right now, we don't know. Could you transport it? Why? Because you and I are going to Isodyne tonight to steal it. Um, except there's people after you right now. <laughs> I'm feeling he's gonna die. Oh, bloody hell! What? What are you doing? Sending an SOS. Oh. Oh. Don't move! Yeah. I've got you! Oh, oh you beast! Oh. Come in, please. Right now. I had that pink atrocity exactly where I wanted him. What could possibly be so important? There's a sock on the doorknob. <laughs> I was gonna say, why don't you just take their car? <laughs> Do you see them? No. If there's that many guys, why wouldn't one of them just stay out of the car? Be back in the city. They know oh, the course. she was going to the car. Four lights down, there's an alley. See, I feel like I could do it in English way better than these dudes. A lapel pin? I've seen this symbol before. What's it mean? I'm not sure. Auerbach Theatrical Agency. Wait, Mr. Auerbach, call for you? Chief Sousa, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. Jarvis? Ah, yes, Edwin Jarvis here. I've received an SOS signal from Miss Carter. Apparently she's at the Griffiths Observatory. And I fear she may be in some trouble. I'll meet you there. She's not there anymore, though. Excuse me, could you make change for the telephone? Miss, you okay? She's fine. We just need to get I wasn't some... talking to you, boy. I was talking to the lady. I am perfectly well. I just need change for the phone. You'll have to buy something. If you think I'm going to buy something from some no-good charlatan in this rat hole okay. of a place, okay. you are okay. seriously... Hello, operator. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, God. Phone isn't working, that odious swine. Next time we do things my way, a quick jab to the right eye will adjust his attitude tremendously. Yeah, it won't get us anywhere. Besides, it's not like he's a rare specimen. You gonna punch all of L.A.? Maybe. I could do with a hobby. Let's start with the guys with the guns that just tried to kill us. Tried to kill you, Dr. Wilkes. Could be the men from the observatory. Don't move. Definitely not. Is it them? What? Oh. Um, no. We're safe then. Yes. For the time being. I have an idea. So do I. We're going to steal that car. That's, uh, yep, that's definitely what I was thinking. 
What did you find? Rather unsettling amount of bullet casings. Yeah, and her car with her tires slashed. And no sign of Peggy? Well, apart from the bullet casings. I feared that Susan may be losing his composure. Oh, he's just worried about Peg. As are we all. No. The chief has a special kind of worry about her. So get to the observatory, supervise the crime scene. I want Why? you checking every blade of grass for evidence. On my way. Baxter, go shake down the Dunbar. I want a statement from every person that set foot in that place. Jarvis, you're coming with me. Excellent. Where are we going? I said I. Oh, I'm through playing nice. Looks clear enough. We'll have to move fast. It literally looks like black gravitonium to me. Looks a lot smaller than it was. That's heaps smaller than it was. Ma'am, you shouldn't be. Excuse me. You don't have clearance to be here. What do you think you're doing? You'll have to sign this. <laughs> You really shouldn't be here. It's not safe. No, it isn't. In fact, I'm surprised to see you alive, Dr. Wilkes. Excuse me? Now, you're going to place the specimen in that case, and you're going to give it to me. Miss Frost, you have no idea what this stuff is capable of. Oh, on the contrary. I am the only person who knows what it's capable of. Now hand it over. You're making a terrible mistake. I can't in good conscience let you go through with it. So you're willing to die? For this crisis of conscience? I'm starting to think that was your plan for me no matter what. I'm also starting to think that you're smart enough not to shoot me while I'm holding this. Yeah, I'm not smart enough. Yeah, I felt like it's gonna die. Here's the situation. Dr. Wilts and I entered Isodyne Energy at approximately 4.30 a.m. I engaged with four suspects while Dr. Wilts went in to retrieve this unregistered, highly Slow volatile down. scientific discovery I saw. Hey, stop. Stop. Are you okay? Um, yes, I'm fine. And Dr. Wilkes? He, d he didn't make it, the ex uh, explosion. Okay, we're done here. How about you get some rest? But there's still so much to process. Peggy, you're going home. Miss Carter, I'm immensely relieved that you're unharmed. Mr. Jarvis, can I trouble you for a ride home? Of course. Is everything okay? Yes. Well, no, not entirely, but I'm fine. Peggy's fine. I just, uh, I'm just real tired. Poor thing. I, I was worried. I am so sorry about last night. I feel awful. It's, it's all right. Yeah, I know, but still. My boyfriend catches bad guys, and I'm very proud of him. I just like knowing you're safe. I am, and I'm gonna make it up to you, I promise. I know you are. I love you, Daniel. I love you, too. She seems nice. I don't trust her. Edwin suggested tea, but I thought whiskey was more the order of the day. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Strange that it should hit me so hard. I don't think it's strange at all. I'd only known him a few days. Edwin only knew me a few weeks before he had forged papers, gone AWOL, stolen a plane, and helped me escape the Third Reich. Doesn't take long to realize you met someone special. I just wish I'd had the chance to get to know him better. Whitney? Honey, are you there? The zero matter. It's all gone. Whitney! Alright. 
So she absorbed it or something? Why does she get to live? Rude. Uh, Alright, well that was Agent Carter, Season 2, Episode 2, titled A View in the Dark. Um, I had a feeling that the scientist would die, that Wilkes would die. Just, I don't know, intuition, I suppose. Um... Sousa's... I'm still just gonna call him Victor. Sousa's, like, a weird name to say. Um, his, like, girlfriend seems really nice. Um, but I don't trust her because that's overly nice. And I don't trust overly nice people on TV shows. They're usually the bad guys. Um, <laughs> and... Hold on, actually. Let's... I've been trying to figure this out. I just don't know how to spell it. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that that girl, um, like his girlfriend, I thought she looked like Sharice Ronan. And so I was trying to, like, uh, internet movie data base her just so I can be like, you know, true or false, like if that was correct. Um, but I couldn't work out how to spell the name and therefore it like left part of this reaction with me like not looking at the screen, which was bad! Uh, cause I missed like the giant like big point of the episode which was the explosion type thing. Uh, yeah. That was the thing that happened. Um, but anyways, uh, I went back and I looked, um, and I saw and yeah. I'm not as affected by it because I figured that he would die. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.